Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching. This is AMRC and I'm Alex. And I just got this today, the new E-Flight UMX Air Tractor. I'm going to do the maiden flight on a 3S battery. Also have my uh, UMX Turbo Timber. It's uh, the older 2S version, pretty beat up, but still does the job. And the reason I brought this also, because I want to compare how uh, they feel in flight. Maybe I'll fly them back to back and uh, show you some uh, differences. Wingspan, the general size of uh, both planes is pretty similar. Uh, now, the air tractor does have smaller wheels. That's to be expected, but yeah, all in all, they look uh, pretty similar. I was a bit disappointed that compared to uh, the new Turbo Timber Evo, it doesn't uh, come with the ball links, but I got over that. I never had any problems with uh, these uh, connections. Also has uh, the tail bracing, and the landing gear is very interesting. Uh, seems to be aluminum with a plastic bracing. It's not very flexible, but uh, yeah, it's not really a bush plane. I'll probably fly it most off of uh, asphalt anyway. Has uh, the standard lights. And no, I don't think I'll uh, be turning this into a night plane. Because it's painted, I think it's uh, harder to uh, get the lights to shine through. But who knows, we'll see. After a few dings and crashes, maybe I'll change my mind. So, here they are. Let's go fly this thing. Okay guys, here it goes. And there's a real tractor in the distance. So, that should make for some great shots. If it comes closer, I'll be using half flaps and safe for takeoff. Okay, that was pretty easy. You can see it with the sun over there. About half throttle. Let's turn off the flaps. Still unsafe. Okay, out of safe now. Half throttle and it's pretty neutral feeling. Pretty agile. I was kind of hoping it will be similar to my T28. They're both yellow. But I mean, in uh, flying characteristics. Car car uh, never mind, you, you know what I mean. And if you haven't figured it out already, uh, English isn't my first language, so <laughs> pardon me for that. That looks good. Yeah, and it's uh, on a smaller scale, pretty similar to the T28. Hope you guys can see it. Let me try going a bit on the other side. This is no power, just gliding. It's in safe. Out of safe yet. Yeah. Goes down a bit. Hope you can see it better here. And we've got crops on both sides, so it's very fitting. Let's try some flaps, half flaps. This time I did all the programming by the book. Flap mix. Dual rates. Oh yeah, and I'm in high rates now. Or yeah, it's high rates. And they're good enough for me. I don't feel the need to tone it down. Okay, let's turn off the flaps. Let's do some full throttle passes. Oh, 
It's pretty fast for a UMX. It's decent. It's not a racing plane by any means, but... Oh, boy, the power lines. Whew, yeah, I was a bit nervous. To made in this, I haven't flown anything else before it. I was planning on flying the turbo timber first, but too excited for this. Plus, I have uh, the extra lights on the turbo timber in case it gets dark. No problem. Yeah, you know what? I think I was kind of spot on with uh, the T28 comparison. Ooh, knife edges. I'm not so good at that, but it does it. Oh, yeah. Definitely feels a lot like the T28 and really happy with that. And even better, this is a tail dragger. I don't know why, but I tend to land these better. Plus it has flaps. So yeah, it's a really, really nice plane. Really happy I got it. I said I did have my doubts. I was wondering if I should get the new Turbo Timber Evo. Oh, Kurt coming. Let's not scare him. But since I already have a Turbo Timber, I didn't see the point. Fall. So, ever crash it or damage it beyond repair. Car coming again. Then I'll probably get an Evo. And my timer's running out. Five minutes, but I have telemetry with this, so there's the timer. Uh, Eleven point four volts. I have a 350 milliamp 3S in there, uh, Gen Zace. I think I've used it once in my UMX Timber X. But yeah, I'm really happy with Gen Zace for the price. Oh yeah, and uh, another thing I really wanted to mention, hope I'll get the name right. Uh, it's R.A. Renfield. Hope I pronounced it right. He mentioned me in uh, one of his videos. There, just ahead of me, is uh, the Army Shooting Range. In case you're wondering, yeah, I've moved a bit far away from it. Yeah, that was awesome. I felt like a superstar. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Really nice guy, really enjoy his videos. He has a lot of UMX planes also, not only, and he flies off a lake. It's behind his house. That's really cool, living the life. Fortunately, I don't think I'll be able to fly behind my house anymore. It's a full-blown construction site now, so. Okay, I think I've pushed this battery far enough. I also have 500 milliamp 3S batteries that I'll probably try the next time out. And if I should try 2S. Okay, let's bring it in for a landing. No cars this way. And hopefully no cars that way. I kind of missed the landing. Oh, stop, 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 stop. And it stopped. 
at least it's off the road. Yeah, so 11.3 volts. No fades, no holds, and I'm 1 minute 35 over the timer, so 6 minutes 35. So yeah, not bad. Really not bad. Really like this plane. And here it is, next to the crops. I don't know if you can see that tractor in the distance, but it doesn't matter. It's about planes now. So thank you very much for watching guys. Don't forget to leave some great comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. And don't forget about RA uh, Renfield. I have the link to his channel in the description. Bye.